sometimes this approach may lead to an old work being included in a grouping of new pieces, serving as a kind of anchor point. But in the case of this show, it turned out to be a fully realized, somewhat interactive timeline. The timeline here begins in 2003, when I first showed my small collages at Green Papaya. But I actually started working on them four years before in 1999. By the time I had the show, I've already made more than 400 pieces. And back then, I couldn't afford any kind of framing, so we just decided to use Sticky Tack and just lay them out directly on the wall. This work is from the show Stray Bullets, held at Finale Art File in Mega Mall in 2004. The following year, I co-founded Future Prospects Art Space with some friends. To help cover the rent, we held a fundraising artwork raffle, and I donated this work for that event. Some years pass, and I become part of Silver Lens. Um, one day, from a casual conversation, I learned that it was our gallery director, Isa Lorenzo, who actually won the piece. The other interesting story is that of construction of self a work that I made during a residency in Bangkok in 2009. The main idea for this is to use words originally written to describe another person's practice to somehow speak about my own. In essence, I made the collage out of the text instead of the pictures. Later, I had a chance to show the work here, this time as part of a larger installation for the show I Missed the 20th Century, at the now closed Manila Contemporary. When the show ended, I remember Sid Paris personally carrying the work and handing it back to me, as it was unframed and somewhat fragile. I then placed it inside the book so I could safely bring it home. Sadly, this is my last memory of the work and I haven't seen it again since. I've gone through all the books in our shelf, but to no avail. So I think the work is essentially lost, and all I have left is a scanned file. For the next couple of years, I divided my time between working on one or two art projects a year and working on my collages during my free time, while also keeping a full-time day job, helping to run a fabrication studio. Around 2014, we opened the store in San Juan, which had an unused space in the second floor. At this point, I thought it might be a good opportunity to have a dedicated space and also time to focus on my practice. And so with the support of Silver Lens, I utilized the space as my studio and it became a somewhat impromptu half a year long residency. Looking back, I believe this served as my gateway into practicing art full time. I started the Collage Day Everyday Project in 2017, the day after I turned 40. I was already thinking about doing something like this for a while, as I wanted to gather all my collage-related impulses into a single, sustainable, and long-term project. Around this time, my eldest daughter also entered preschool and my wife went back to work full-time. So I really had to find something that I can do at home in our living room, you know, something small enough that I can finish before our daughter wakes up and takes over the space. So though this became a way for me to still be able to work and feel productive, despite being mostly at home. I remember it was Valentine's Day last year when my show Erstwhile Maps opened at the Case Space Gallery in Bangkok. It was something that our dear friend, um, curator Art Fong Smoot, helped set up with the former colleague that runs the space. It was a fun night. A lot of shows opened simultaneously in different spaces, and different groups of people came in and out throughout the night. Little did I know that this would be my last trip outside of the country, as by March, we had our first lockdown. In the beginning, I just embraced being forced to stay at home and doing nothing. But after months of inactivity, I slowly started thinking about work again. One thing that I noticed was 
when I had to go outside was that there were just so many unused spaces. Somehow, this led to me being offered to use Calurite while the programming is still on hold. Slowly, I brought in my materials from tools and magazines and all the unfinished works that, for different reasons, I had to put on pause for a while. My goal was to go through all the unfinished works and use up all the materials so I won't have to bring a lot back home when this all ends and Calurite can finally open again. The works for my current show, Things That Came to Light, were all made during this time. 